Tashi de Lake, hope you all are in good health. Today we will learn how to say yes or no in Tibetan. Yes in Tibetan is translated as re no means ma re that is negating with letter ma in the front of re so yes in Tibetan is re no in Tibetan is ma re for example yes no question in Tibetan is re ma re tiwa the linking verb to be in Tibetan for the first person personal pronoun is yin. For more details, you can watch the other videos on the linking verb to be. So if you ask the question, are you Tibetan? I would say, yes, I am Tibetan. That is translated in Tibetan as yin ma pepa yin. Yin ma pepa if somebody asks me, are you Chinese? I would say, no, I'm not Chinese. So in Tibetan language, you can negate the linking verb yin by adding the letter ma in front of yin. So that is ma yin, ma yin. Or you could simply shorten ma yin and use min, min. So the sentence, no, I'm not Chinese, is translated as ma yin, ma gami ma yin. Or you could say min, ma gami min. If you want to go back and if you ask, are you Tibetan then? And then I would say yin, ma purpa yin. Min, ma gami min. If you want to ask, uh, is he Tibetan? He or she is the third person personal pronoun. So we use re. So when you say, yes, he is Tibetan, in Tibetan language, it is re kong pepa re. Or you could politely say, la re kong pepa re. To negate re, we add the letter ma in front of uh, re, so that is ma re. So the answer, no, he is not Tibetan, is ma re, kong, pepa, ma re. Another example of yes and no in definite statement. If you ask, is this Tibetan language class, our response, la re, this is Tibetan language class. Thank you. That's all for today. See you next time. Tashi de Lake.